So it goes to Amazon, types an Echo Dot, clicks on the Echo Dot product, and it goes down, and you can see it clicks Buy Now. Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and in this video, I will be showing you how to execute basic commands using Selenium. And to do this, I will be showing you how to buy something on Amazon. So let's get started. Okay, so this is going to be a continuation of my previous tutorials on how to set up the web driver for Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Microsoft Edge. So in this tutorial, I will be using the sample code that I got from the Google Chrome web driver tutorial, but the things that we're going to add will be the same for Mozilla Firefox and Microsoft Edge as well. So now the first thing we will need to do is to actually change this URL that we will go to. We'll need to change this to amazon.com because going to bing.com will not allow us to actually buy something off of Amazon. So if we now hit run on this program, let's wait for it. We can see that it went to amazon.com like we told it to do. So the first thing we need to do it to actually select the echo dot is to type in echo dot right here in the search bar. So we first need to actually locate the search bar in Selenium. And the way we do that is by, first of all, let's make this full screen. We need to right click this and click inspect right here. And now we need to click on this icon right up here. And we'll need to just click on this search bar. And now we see the actual HTML element that is our search bar. So the first attribute that I like to look for is this ID right here. If you don't have an ID, I will be showing you how to do that in the next step. So uh, we will just need to copy this ID. We'll need to go back into BS code. And now what we'll need to do is to locate the element. So what we're gonna do is type in search bar equals driver dot find element by ID, open up parentheses, open up quotation mark, and we'll just need to paste the ID into those quotes. So basically what this will do is it will search the HTML for any element with this certain ID, and it will save that to the search bar. So now once we have the search bar, we actually need to do something with it. And what we're gonna do is to send keys to that, which is basically send characters. So we'll need to type in search bar, dot send underscore keys, put up parentheses, open up quotation marks, and in here we're gonna type in echo dot. So now if we click run, we see that it typed in echo dot into the search bar which is exactly what we wanted. So now what we need to do is make it hit enter so that it actually searches it up. And the way we do that is we need to import a module. And to do that, we will just need to paste in this line from selenium.webdriver.common.keys import keys with a capital K. So this keys module contains keys like shift, alt, and other keys that we just can't type inside quotation marks. And once you've imported that, we'll just need to type in search bar dot send underscore keys again. So now let's just type in keys dot enter right here. And now if we run this again, we see that it typed in echo dot and it hit enter. So now we are actually on the search page. So now we need to actually select this one right here. And so let's do the same thing. Let's right click it, click inspect, and let's make this full screen. Click this mouse thing right here and click this right here. So right here we have a span with the class, uh, this thing right here, and we don't have an ID. 
So I usually don't like to use the class attribute since other attributes can also share this thing right here. So if we just copy this and just do a search using control F of the entire HTML file, we see that there are 22 instances of this class right here. So Selenium could easily be confused uh, by this class and it could select another element. And that's why I like to use the ID since the ID is typically a unique identifier on the page and usually only one element has that identifier. So now if we're not gonna use the class, what other element should we use? And in this case, I like to use something called the XPath. So the XPath is kind of like a list in Python where it basically says, okay, look for the first div and inside that first div, look for the second span and so on. So the way you get that X path is by right clicking this and click copy and go down and type in or select copy X path right here. Now let's go back into VS code. And now we just need to um, type in driver find element by X path. Open up parentheses, open up quotation marks. We'll just need to paste in that string. So you can see that we have the first, uh, the second div, the third div, uh, div, and then the span and so on. So now we just need to assign this to a variable. I'm going to say echo dot equals. And now we need to actually click on that. And the way we do that is by using a function called click. So we'll just type in echo dot right here. And we'll just need to type in dot click. Open up parentheses, close parentheses. And this will basically click on that element. So let's hit run again. So it goes to Amazon, types in echo dot scrolls down and clicks on that echo dot product. And now finally, the last thing we will need to do is to just hit this buy now button right here. So let's do the same thing, inspect, click on this right here, go down into buy now. And for buy now, we actually have an ID, but since this is a Selenium tutorial, I want to show you how to use different attributes and in this case, we can use this name attribute right here. It's submit.bynow. So let's just copy this and close this and close this window. And now we just need to type in driver find element by name. Open up parentheses, open up quotation marks, and we'll paste that in. So similar to our ID or XPath, what this will do is it will just search the file and it will find the element with the name submit.bynow. And now we can just use the uh, function chaining and we can just type in dot click right here, open up parentheses and close parentheses, and that will just click the buy now button. So now let's just hit run. So it goes to Amazon, types in echo dot, clicks on the echo dot product, and it goes down and you can see it clicks by now. So now finally we are on the sign in page and I think I'm gonna call this tutorial here, but if you want to actually go through with the signing in and everything, what you'll need to do is just do the same thing. You know, you can find the X path, the name or the ID of this box right here. Click continue, do the same thing with the password and you can go from there. If this worked for you, you've successfully completed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.